Happy 4th of July to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It's the Independence Day version of your afternoon tropical forecast update. And all in all, things are fairly quiet out there, but you know that it doesn't take long before things could quickly flare up. So I just want to give you an update on what we have happening out in the tropics. We do have a potential for a tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm to form in the eastern Pacific. So that's where we're going to start at this point. Over the next 48 hours, we're not expecting any development. The atmosphere is not really going to be favorable for this disorganized area of showers and storms off of the southwestern Mexican coast to get its act together. However, as we go long term through the next seven days, it looks like as it pushes west northwest, it will run into an environment a little more favorable for development. And that will mean we could have another tropical depression in the eastern Pacific. Of course, remember last week we had not one but two hurricanes in the eastern Pacific. Those are long gone, but this could be the next system, so we will keep watching that one. It looks like at this point, though, it would stay just offshore of that western and southwestern Mexican coast, but it would be fairly close to Puerto Vallarta and also El Capulco, so we'll watch it closely to see if it would impact Mexico, but it is moving west-northwest, so I do not think it would have any impact or be a threat to the U.S., so that is some good news there. Let's switch gears and check out what's happening in the Atlantic. And we've had that hair and dust kind of limiting the tropical activity for the last week or so, and that will likely continue. So at this point, no tropical cyclone formation expected in all of the Atlantic during the next seven days. So we do have a few showers and storms occurring over portions of the Lesser Antilles and over towards Puerto Rico as we move closer to the Caribbean. But at this point, the National Hurricane Center not really thinking that these showers and storms are going to gel and become something stronger, become a tropical cyclone. So at this point, it's just basically some heavy rain and some storm action up across parts of Puerto Rico, parts of the Lesser Antilles, and even into northern portions of South America down around Caracas but it's not expected to be tropical in nature. So that is some good news. We don't want to see any major tropical systems popping up on our holiday, and it looks like things will stay fairly quiet, at least for the Caribbean for now. Heading into the Gulf of Mexico, right over the Yucatan Peninsula, we've got some flare-ups there. We've got some showers and storms popping up and also some activity over into the southwestern Gulf. But the National Hurricane Center not really looking at any of that activity, thinking that it is going to become stronger at this point. It looks like it's going to stay fairly quiet for the Gulf of Mexico, for the Caribbean Sea, and also for the Atlantic. Even though the waters are very, very warm, they're still unseasonably warm all across the Atlantic as we check out our map. Look at this, 80s are widespread. We've got low to middle 80s for those sea surface temps from the eastern Atlantic back through the central Atlantic and into the west central and western Atlantic. So there's definitely water out there warm enough for these systems to pop up and develop. But as I mentioned, we've got that Saharan dust that has been kind of drying out the atmosphere and kind of limiting the development. So we will watch to see what happens with that, but we definitely have water warm enough for those tropical systems to develop. So let's talk about how many systems we're expecting. We've already had three named storms so far for this hurricane season, which of course began on June 1st. We had two forecasts that came out before hurricane season, the CSU forecast and the NOAA forecast. And the CSU forecast predicted 15 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. The NOAA forecast predicted 12 to 17 named storms, five to nine hurricanes, and one to four major hurricanes. So at this point, we've had three named storms, but the average normally around 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. Hopefully we don't get that many, but of course we are still at the very beginning of hurricane season, and we've got a long way to go. We made it through June, but we did have three named storms, and now we are into July. We'll have to wait and see what's coming for us in July, but of course, August August and September are the busiest, most active portions of hurricane season where we usually get about two thirds of our storms, usually just in those two months. So we've still got a long way to go. 
This is a list of the remainder of names for this hurricane season. Of course, the next name on the list for the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean Sea and Atlantic would be Don. And then we will go down to Emily, Franklin and then Gert. So at this point, things are pretty quiet. Nothing that will be heading towards southeast Texas or the Houston area anytime soon. But of course, we'll be watching it. Notice historically, we don't have a lot of action during the month of July. Tropical storms. Hurricanes, major hurricanes on the low side for this month. But look at that spike for August and September, the actual peak of hurricane season right around September 10th. So we've still got a long ways to go until we get there. We're going to be tracking it daily and of course, keeping you updated on exactly what's happening out there in the tropics. But at least things are quiet now. But of course, this is the time where you should be reviewing your hurricane plan, making sure you know exactly where to go, what to do. Make sure you have an evacuation plan. If you live in an evacuation zone, make sure you have that emergency hurricane kit ready to go. And also it's a great time to review your insurance, making sure you have the insurance coverage you want and need that flood insurance, especially in this area, extremely important. So when things are quiet, you can review all of those things. Also, you can grab our Fox 26 weather app. If you haven't already, you can get all of the tropical weather updates, turn those alerts on for cast cones, hurricane watches and warnings, tropical storm watches and warnings, tons of cool, important info on there. And of course, you can get updates on our local weather as well. Of course, it's been about the heat and now we've got a few storms out there, but that heat will be building back in another heat dome headed our way this weekend. But at least that will keep all of the tropical activity away from us for now. So once again, have a happy remainder of the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Have a great rest of the day.